how they I uh, everything everything I I'm gonna explain everything first <laughs> you can create anything with your fingers but before you do that you need to know thyself right so what is it you are God Ta-da! Oh, I'm you know I'm in my human timeline. I can create whatever I want in my story, in my movie, right? But also, you can do different like meditation in Kriya, and you can uh, transpose your perspective onto a higher dimension where you can create a universe, like planetary bodies. So really, when you say like I am that or I am that I am or whatever, that is the agency that you can use, and from a different perspective than your little. Uh, I don't know, I'm touch, I'm using objects physically. From a different perspective, you yes, you can manifest like cosmoses, planetary bodies, like uh, infinite, there's infinite stuff. Now, these perspectives are right here. They're in your spaceship, in your avatar. You have these different modules. And they're really smartly integrated into even your everyday human reality where you can just like, you know, press the buttons, do some mudras, and then... And then you can come inside of these portals inside of you and then just flower into a different reality. So before you do that, and if you don't know yourself like that, and then if you are assuming that what I'm saying is not possible. Well, then you're thinking from your karma. Now, this is going to be really simple also because I really fail to understand the game. I have to learn everything from within myself because all of these manuals that other people who realized this before and they wrote down a manual and they now call it Buddhism or Christianity, whatever, all of this is some archaic language and you hear words like karma and you think okay it's like my bad deeds and my good deeds and so you just cannot understand the manual because it was written in an archaic language I was not able to and then nobody was there to initiate me so like right now everything is like bubbling up there energetically so everybody's self-initiated and you're going through these portals you start seeing numbers like one two three 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 six six eight nine and nine these numbers are your chakras. You have 10 plus 1, 2, 3. So, like you can say 13, but it's non-linear, so it's like 10 plus 3, okay? And then this is 0, this is 1, 2. This is yin and yang, this is 0, pure consciousness, this is the 10 spheres. So it's the whole microverse. Actually, yes, you're microversing the entire cosmos you have the algorithm or the build, energetic build, in your fingertips and in your temples and in your third eye. Okay, so you are the universe that birthed itself to be a little walking, talking, touching, licking, smelling experiencer of itself. Now, by the authority that you are, that which observes and births and constructs the universe, you can copy paste the universe if you want. If you want to have your own universe, you can copy paste that universe and have your own freaking entire universe because this is the way things work. Everything in creation is just iterated. It's just copy pasting fractals. So pretty, 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 pretty freaking amazing what's built into the human. So look, for everything to come online you have this little thing that might fuck with how everything comes online for you so just because I have had to learn through trial and error and really like like kind of guessing and intuiting what I've learned and integrated I would give you and it might be like uh, way easier for you to do something because uh, you have to make some mistakes that I have, okay? So, karma 
is energetic memory. When you are subject relating to other objects in reality, like all this stuff that you, since you baby, you've touched and smelled and licked, and then impressions of like relationship with people and like emotional stuff and all of these, you record and then you record everything that you hear. So you have yourself a smart operating system that knows how to respond to like, I see a salt shaker, I know how to do this because you know it's already been recorded so the recording is karma it's your individuality everything that you know so who is the author of your karma it's you believe it's like something good or bad it's just your energetic memory now in cycles of life you should learn how to walk and then that becomes memorized and then you're just walking and you know you know you, you know how to cross the street and the red light the green light you know all these things and then you know and then it becomes automatic because it's recorded so that's cool right so karma good yes now you're adding more layers of this memory, learning more complex patterns, storing that, learning new things, whatever you want to master, you want to master making banana mango smoothie or whatever, right? You're trying, experimenting, you're learning, you're memorizing. Now you're also learning the code that is the discourse of this reality and then what people tell you. And then people tell you, God lives in the sky and uh, we need to go through like some process to be spiritually enlightened and, and then you in believe this interpretation. But your process is that your chakras are going to activate through time and they should also recycle the energetic memory that is not usable anymore. It's like operating system upgrade. So you get all the apps and everything, but it's now upgrade and it's a new iPhone and with new operating system and you have new version of Instagram. Okay? Now, if you're running old program, <laughs> then this program is not current to your version of the operating system. Simple as that. So everything should be online by the age when you're 33 and some people are already activated before that and some people are way beyond 33 but they're not using the programs they're using the beliefs and mindsets and like remem memories and rememberings they're from their uh like physical environment victim of physical environment type of reaction patterns but if you have stretched or you know like whatever your whatever your life journey maybe it was like your awakening when your chakra upgrades they came because you were smoking pot or having sex or going to the church and listening to the mantras and then your patterns were changed because there are so many ways to initiate energetically the update of your operating system and you know if you go to Buddhist temple Christian temple and you sit for the chanting or whatever it's designed in a way to reprogram you right and then if you stretch and do yoga it's designed in a way to purge your energetic memory that is maybe clogged or something right so and then if you have sex it is designed in a way to also activate you and the, and then if you smoke pot it is designed in a way to also defragment your memory. and then so many systems of initiation that you might not even know that you have been doing that because your intuition just told you, go run a marathon. And you ran a marathon and then everything was also upgraded while you were having this, you heated up the body and you had this like energy circulation and you were just running, running, running to get to the goal. Thank you for the water. Hi everybody, running, running, running. But then your system was upgraded. So there's a lot of ways that a system can be upgraded without you even doing, you know, Om Hare Krishna Viro Edward Gunna Joa Diya Diga Niyo But you might have been sluggish using too much of I don't know whatever is like the 
it may incapacitate you like uh, you know streaming too much Netflix and then getting like a little bit lazy and then neurotic karma or the energetic memory getting sluggish and then your program how you react to reality how you create your reality is like still you know you're thinking about your reality in the ways that your 14 year old used to think or your grandma told you when you were seven and you still repeat that so many people are stuck in a karmic cycle where they're repeating something that is simply not up to date with them. And this is like because they watch too much TV or too much Facebook and too much people in the too much media programming or too much limited to the scientific objective physical reality, whereas you should have surpassed the physical reality. I mean, you still experience lick, touch, smell and everything, but your mind chooses the belief or imagination which then recreates the physical reality accordingly should have been installed to you when you were 33, but then it's a whole flip because before you were a baby, you need to orient to physical reality and to learn, oh, this is, this is burn. Oh, mm, mm, oh, <laughs> because, yeah, you need to learn not to collide with other objects. Now, you can move the objects with your mind, actually. And then you can choose to also participate in nice, you know, you can juggle or do whatever physical stuff. Yeah, physically, because you learn that, you have the memory pattern. But you can also... Move the objects in the or recreate physical reality through a mental projection, and this is something that basically only I found only Neville Goddard left a practical manual on how to interface with your game set, with your reality, with your console through your mind, through ownership of your. Cho choosing, of choosing your assumption, choosing. So when now it used to be in relationship to people, I had to say, I don't like what you're like, how you're treating me. And can we go to uh, couple therapy? And then we talk about my needs and your needs. Now that's like your twenties, you're in your twenties, right? But you're in your 33s and above, you just have to always project your assumption and when people tell you no I don't want to do that or reality tells you no there's no money here or there's no mango there or there's no pistachio ice cream in the fridge you need to disregard and not believe in that representation but assume in your mind that there is pistachio and then it can be open fridge nothing close the fridge mm, <laughs> open fridge ice cream literally 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 it's that silly. It's kind of silly because now you still have to... It's a new operating system. You have to be like, okay, wait. No ice cream. <laughs> but no way. I'm gonna... And when I say no way that it's, I'm going to open the fridge and there's going to be ice cream, it's going to be no way that it's there. So you have to stop saying no way and you just have to close on the picture and then let go and just forget about it and then come up with it. fuck ice cream. <laughs> fuck ice cream, right? And this is what I did the other day. It was like a filter for the cigarette and I was like, ah, oh, God, I wish there was a filter. And then two minutes later, ha <laughs> it's a filter. And so uh, these things then are all within your, not some kind of superpower, but these, all of these things are within your, what's already installed in everybody's headset. You know, your soul bubble is like your headset. And it's really something that is so crazy because simply what people tell you about, I mean, look at us, look at the society, what we do, what we do, we like, worry. We, we fight about not having something. So these are all like seven-year-old, like brother and sister. Ah, it was my ice cream, you ate the ice cream. Ah. 
Mom, she ate the ice cream. No, it was you who ate the ice cream. Mom, okay, you're both grounded because... <laughs> and, and so th there's a way to respond to physical reality where we get pretty emotional and we're like, Mom, we ate the ice cream. No, why you say you ate the ice cream? You ate the ice cream. Mom, he ate the ice cream. Now he's accusing me that. So we're doing all of this like, you know, it's your fault that we don't have eye. And then, uh, I'll, I'm going to build weapons of mass destruction and I'm going to I'm gonna secure all the ice cream for us. <laughs> it's, and it's your fault. <laughs> so this is a pattern of, you know, we're all the universe and we're behaving this way. You know, we're going to, you know, Jews, they have the ice cream. And they'll be keeping the ice cream for them. So let's exterminate them. <laughs> right, so this is what we do. This is what universe does, and then we're like, you've been exterminating, like, I'm gonna get all the, everything for myself, for myself, my precious, <laughs> for myself. Okay, and then blame it on the neighbors. Blame it on your sister, right? Blame it on the other tribe, other tribe, other tribe. If it's not my sister, then me and my sister are joining together against our neighbors, against the other tribe. And then we are disputing the ice cream forever and ever and ever. And then off with their heads, you know. Those pesky ice cream eaters from the other side of the street, off with their heads. And we gang up and we go, <laughs> fuck up those kids. So this is what we do. So this is juvenile behavior. Juvenile fucking behavior. And we're all guilty of it because here's the one thing also. Our karma, our program is doing that. <laughs> but then our father who are in heaven you know we are all what does the prayer go in the Catholic Christianity we say we are all sinners so the Christ the Jesus or somebody forgive us for our sins what, what that means is that we are here in a very complicated pattern the sin like Sanskrit meaning like the sin is like complication so we are all sinful, we're on sin. It just means we do not see our own ass. Because, you know, have you ever tried to, like, see your ass? It's so hard to see your own shed, shadow, your own ass. You, we don't see ourselves. Because all of these patterns, they're very complicated. So in a moment, we're just going, ah, it was my ass, it was your... So we don't know what we're doing. We're doing this complication... And if we were able to see our ass, we would know this this is the ass of the God that created this thing. And we would kiss our own divine ass. Because we would like lol. But no, we only see one one eighty, so we only see in front. And so in this front we're exchanging these patterns. We don't know what we're doing. So we need the Christ, which is that Elev the bird eye view perspective says, okay, from this I can see, you know, both sides of the story. And then I can also make some kind of synchronization between me and my sister and be like, you know, guys, why don't you just like go outside and get more ice cream? <laughs> or, you know, there, there is always the solution if you're looking from that perspective. But now you're, you're going to be thinking from your karmic pattern. Yeah, but it, it is to go outside and, go some, and get some more ice cream, Jovan. But then... Uh, my problem is that my husband is uh, limiting me from like, and then the government is limiting, and, and then, so it's easy to say, let's just go outside and get more ice cream, but then what to do about government saying that I cannot be uh, bipolar or transgender or uh, black or Indian or whatever, right? It will still not work if you're looking from your own, hiding your own ass from your self-perspective, you still need to find solution with the government, with the sister, with the ice cream, with the weapons of medicine, whatever fucking poverty, whatever problem. If you look from the bird eye view, there will be a solution. If you insist on recreating your same old pattern through which, yeah, but yeah, it's easy to, for you, you can find a solution because you're in a situation where you can buy the ice cream. Where I'm from, it's like this and this and I'm victimized by this and that, so there's no way for us to... And then we need to blame them and we need to take the bar and then fuck them up. It's pretty persuasive, the karmic pattern, when you are in immersed in it. 
but this is okay because from this complication you cannot see your own ass and you certainly then don't you have to call Christ and say bro Christ is me in a perspective that is the overview of all the entanglements that I have bro give me a solution show me out of the pretzel what and then I can look from the ah the pretzel is here and you're here and I'm here and you know what you were saying that that is left and when you're sitting on that side, you're showing there. And I was saying, this is left. And then we had a fight. And then when I moved on the side, I saw that these both people are right because everybody's showing to their left. But they're just juxtaposed. So somebody needs to synergize this, find a solution. And then there is a solution to every conflict. But you have to get out of the assumption of perpetuating the conflict because you remember in your karma, in your energetic mind, that this is the only way. Shake it off, do some yoga, blah, blah, blah. There is a solution. I want to see the solution. The sh solution is then presented to you. It's fairly, fairly freaking easy. Okay? So what have I said? You can create anything from your fingertips. And Neville Goddard said, every problem can be solved by proper use of imagination. That's for real. That's for real. Even your fridge will be filling itself quantumly. That's for real. And you know what? When you use your imagination to picture having ice cream in the fridge, that's really effortless. There's no need to linearly go and say, okay, first we need to go from A, we need to get out of the chair, and then we need to go out, then we need to find the ice cream, then we need to go and earn money, and then we need to, and then we need to, and then we need, and then we need to come back, and then we need to put it in the fridge before it melts, and then we need to get together. And eat. No. It's so simple, it's just like flick, picture, slide, and then it goes into the production and then comes. Okay. And it can be even instantaneous, like, like instantaneous, because whatever you are imagining, it already exists as a future event, as a future experience, rendered as a physical freaking experience. It's just going to be put in your timeline, into your edit of your movie by the production. And the production is like organizing what's happen going to happen to you next in the movie they're t telling to these actors wait okay wait he's coming out of the building okay you go now you go now and then the person goes hey Yova and then you're like hey what, what's up and, uh, hey let's talk about blah, 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 blah. and then you talk about that and then you go walk forget about it and production and hey okay now and somebody's like hey I got these two ice creams here you want one so smoothless seamless smoothless no smooth seamless effortless action and okay and so this is one very important thing that I fucked up can I say fucked up I guess I can <laughs> um, wow okay like a crystal over there on the window is hitting me with a what the fuck? <laughs> He's sending light code. <laughs> Crazy shit. So, oh my god, I'm blinded. Now. Uh, uh. Okay, so let's bring this back. Oh yeah, what I fucked up. So... Since I did my Kriya and I purge my energetic memory, then every 7 to 11 years I will completely die from my theater and then I will be like lost and then the theater will give me a new role to play and then I will get it comf comfortable and accustomed to my new role and then I will play that. And so it's all these rites of passage like I hit the gate, okay? And then if I wasn't on time with like my yoga or something, then I would eat the magic mushroom and it would like <laughs> fucking turn me upside down and like pretzel, unpretzel, whatever was pretzel, then then I would be like, online and so it was just weird for me that nobody ever told me in these rites of passage you're now an adult and reality works like this so when I started to be like 33 plus now I'm 40 all the things I had to listen to this inner voice and ask for explanations how things work and this is why I now 
can kind of like explain it in my own lingo because I was like, wait, what, man? What is this? I, I don't understand God. Like what? Wait, Christ? Because still I have the intellect, still I have other people talking to me. And so there was this one big freaking mistake that I've made when people would say, there is a pandemic. If I accept that in my mind, I immediately manifest symptoms of like dying from pandemic, shmandemic. Then if I do not respond to that also information like it is real and I say there's no there, there, there's no pandemic like literally in my street in my neighborhood there's no pandemic and then uh, whatever people told me that I should be ashamed of myself or there's not uh, something is lacking and then we need to like kill each other over or whatever and if I accept that as my reality I'm killed <laughs> So I need to learn really patiently not to give a fuck what people say because they're projecting their own movie and you can co-op and you can co-play and you can role-play in their movie and you don't have to and they don't need to understand what's happening in your movie. So even to the point where physically there can be people at the same table and then something is physically manifested or whatever manifests, and we're all in the same physical room, in the same reality, but they don't see something that's physically there, or they see something that's physically there that's not like, somebody came and pulled a gun out in the restaurant, and I'm like, what? I just came with my spaghetti, and there's like, nice music playing, it's totally shanty, and then the person said, but like, no, there was commotion and somebody pulled it down. I'm like, what the fuck? We're not in the same timeline. Like, you're experiencing a movie. Somebody pulls a gun and every there's a commotion in the restaurant. In the meantime, I'm in the same, same, same freaking restaurant. And just like, so chill. And the spaghetti is so nice. And there's a sipping wine. And there's no freaking problem. Nada. I'm not even seeing that reality that somebody across the table from me is seeing and experience, and this type of glitch became so off, like often, like uh, so. Uh, I got it, it became normalized. It was happening so often. I was like, really, like what? Like I don't know. Let's find a common ground for this reality. There's no common ground. So I'm just normalized that all these people they're walking in. Here, I don't know what the fuck they're seeing maybe they're seeing pink buildings and i'm seeing white buildings and to them they're maybe purple or green or well i don't know i don't know i don't know it's like uh, there's an assumption of consensus but uh, it's only consensus by soul contract like that a few of us are sharing that we are in the same city and there's all these million other peoples and they're not sharing our soul contract they will not see something and then few of us may see it, or only I may see it, and you know what? The sooner I stopped actually... <laughs> like, literally infecting my program, my reality program, t my TV, with what other people say it's happening or it's true for them, the more elegantly I can script my movie. And the more effortless... And but if somebody starts saying like, nah, uh, I'm sick, I'm going to infect you. And then if I believe that, immediately I'm getting symptoms, like I'm getting sneezy. And then I, go, I come home and get sore throat. <laughs> immediately. If I'm like, nah, I am health. Then no program emulates this because the reality is a simulation and you're the director right so you need to then you know when you're sampling the script from other players you need to cut off the undesirable scenes why 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 want to have that in my movie but this is fairly this was fairly like odd to me because the entire time i was born here and I was searching for answers instead of asking my own inner voice 
and like try like trusting that intuition whatever like awakening my inner genius and then going with that okay what the cup yeah then i was like going in school i was going to scientists i was going to priests i was going to everybody like gurus i was going i was asking like yo like what like what's it like everybody was telling me some opinions right but all of them was like non-satisfactory because they work for them and so i had to find my own reason to exist, my own truth, my own interpretation, my own gut feeling, intuition, whatever you want to call it, my own heart desire. And that you then you expand that it becomes physical, it becomes experiential, it becomes manifesting. Okay. So in the last seven or eight years it really effed me up wherever I've Put something in my brain, through my ears, through my eyes, through who, whatever is somebody projecting what TV is saying, whatever, like literally, because I already lived sort of in a bubble, like a monk or something, like a yogi, and then nothing was infecting my reality. It was all like, pa, pa, pa. And that was nice, but I missed the, this like society. I missed like mingling with people. I missed like talking to people, having friends. I missed all of these things. So I, when I came out and I started talking to everybody, I started, I kind of started to get like infected by their world paradigm. And then I would need to like, oh my God, like I'm manifesting myself to be, uh, what broke because somebody put that into my script because they were complaining and then they were blaming or whatever. And then I started playing that. And then all of a sudden I can't, I'm pretzel myself from like, being broke, even saying this is like a program, but because I'm actually not, I'm actually just, money always comes effortlessly and manifests, but even now, as I have the memory of that movie, I still haven't defragmented that movie completely. So now I can also say, uh, can you just erase all of these memories? And don't prompt them into my mind screen, just like make, put a Hare Krishna song or a Britney Spears song instead of ever saying again the words, I am smoke, <laughs> just, oops, I did again and the money comes. Okay, so that, the replacement of your temp template is just like, okay, become aware of the pattern and then say to the Christ within or whatever, like subconscious, replace the pattern, and put this pattern in its place. And then also it's about you actually just understanding that your karma, that your energetic memory is not actually decided by you're the author and so if you want to transform it you just have to tell it to to that energy body to reinterpret itself repattern itself or delete itself or whatever okay so that's like you can drop your karma or any karma that you're seeing looping in your reality creating this feedback loop because Feedback loop is the way that we experience the physicality. It gives you who you are, right? It manifests what you believe and interpret and what you desire before, you, what you mood boarded before. And if you have unconsciously mood boarded because other people told you that you should be ashamed of yourself, that you're not good enough and that you will never reach a light, then you need to also delete that. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a silly because then you will like re-manifest like the movie where people come and say, but you're not good enough. You will. This will never work. This will never work. This is not possible. You're claiming that you're like enlightened, but we don't see. <laughs> this is also like my frustration. Like people say, okay, like show me, like show me. If you can manifest like that, like you're saying, show me. Like make a million dollars appear on the table. And then I'm like, but like, <laughs> like, you will not see it, like, because you're denying the existence of that and, like, asking me to provide that and you do not, you're God, and so you believe there's no, that you're not God and it's not possible, so you're projecting and even if it was here, you don't see it. And this happened, this literally happened, like, once I had a ticket for fucking 124 or 20, 120 something million Euro, they, like, they are my face to fall from the sky into my lap. And then I showed to my wife at the time, and she was like, she was not seeing this paper. She was just like talking over it. I'm like, hey, come on, like, check this out. It's like a paper for the fucking, 
get out of jail free guy for the lottery for the like and she was like I'm not seeing she's talking over it so people talk over and they're like spaceships flying here and they're like uh, angels bubbles and blah, 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 and just like all these things and then at the same time somebody might be in the physical space with you but completely in a different frequency and they might be seeing like oh, demons <laughs> And so you're sitting across the table and they see you like this. But you're like, I'm so beautiful. But to them, you're like appearing like. Because you have a soul contact that you're reflecting there. You're reflecting there, I don't know, some, something, some inner Pokemon that was stuck in their subconscious. So you're like, you're like this. But in their reality, they're talking to them, oh my god, this person is triggering me so much. Like, look at them. <laughs> and, but you don't know. You don't know. And this is also like whoever is triggering you, they're just being like, oh my god, these people are so loud. <laughs> uh, so whoever's triggering you, maybe is a projection of some aspect of you that you have not met with uh, just integrated self-expression all the fucking archetypes all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 12 fucking chakra portals you're working together so long story short how are you doing? tell me something ciao there